One of the nation thrilled to be able to watch her and that she is feeling well as this game is underway from Louisville. Starting lineup for Louisville, Rebecca. You talked about the size. Louisville going with Elizabeth Dixon in the starting five rather than Elizabeth Balladon. Yeah, they're going with their big lineup for the second game in a row, and you see one of their bigs there. And they have really shot it well of late. Last six games, 42% from three as NC State gets on the board. Kunain able to finish. Here's Kiana Smith, the transfer from Cal, gotten off to a very strong start to her Louisville campaign. Nice find there, and Van Lith lays it in. So they have the four out and the one in. There is room for cutting and moving. Great cut by Van Lith, and nice find with Smith. Perez hits from three. Louisville is really good on the offensive end when they share the ball, move it from side to side, and don't force shots. That last shot by Van Lith was a force. A 7-4 lead in the early going. Smith pull up from the elbow, rims in. Trying to find a way to get some easy buckets against Louisville, knowing that his team is not one that's going to easily put up 80 or 90 a night. As Evans hits the three, we know that Louisville can fill it up. We come back, we will examine the clutch play from Dana Evans. NC State team that averages 38% from the three-point line. Not shooting well so far here. Cochran, the freshman, showing off the strength. I'd like to see Kunain get a touch on this possession. Not necessarily a shot, but a touch. Nice touch instead for Perez, who got free. Yeah, she's been terrific doing that all season long, getting people involved, but absolutely in crunch time, she gets it. You see Javi there, she had a terrific game against Virginia Tech. See Elizabeth Balagoon in the lineup for Louisville. She has played really well in their last four games. A little surprising that she didn't get the start tonight. The flick ahead, Brown Turner lays it in. 10 of 13 points in the paint thus far for NC State. Balagoon giving space, gets the roll, friendly, and it drops. First quarter action here, NC State has done its damage in the paint. They're one of seven from three, but 10 of 13 points in the paint. Nice find, Van Lee to Evans on a triple. One of the supportive reasons why they have the third best offensive efficiency in the nation. As the layup drops for Jada Boyd on the drive said we are just so much better when she plays well nice finish now the shot clock is turned off thanks to that kick Perez in the corner rims in a three and that will do it for the first tied at 18 Evans in a position where she could have taken the shot and instead looked to involve her teammate offensively Kunin lines it up and connects from downtown. Just one of five from the floor in the early going. 0 of three from three. Here's the X Factor hitting again. Jada Boyd off to a good start tonight. Rebecca told you about Wes Moore talking about her importance earlier. That three drops from the corner for Balagoon. Kunain outside so Boyd can post up a smaller defender. Well, Cochran just threw a change up in the dirt and it turns into two on the other end for Perez. Evans, great fake and splashes it home. Eight points in this first half for Dana Evans. You see how sometimes when you say something interesting and smart, Rebecca, I just like to <laughs> restate it slightly differently. Take the credit. Six minutes without a field goal. And another turnover from Louisville. You got to throw it where your big is going and not where they just were. Oh, nice position from Kunain. The nation twice in the same season. The 05 06 Maryland team that went on to win a national title. And 07 08 Stanford that went. On the attack, the cup, the bucket, and the foul. Places to access the talents of Kono. Oh, Cochran just got. 
gobbled that up. Dixon looking inside. Instead, it's Van Lith. Nice ball fake. The elbow jumper is good for Haley Van Lith. Just her second field goal of the night. Time ACC Freshman of the Week. It was the number seven recruit in the nation for this class. Brown Turner hits the three. Both offenses struggling to find a rhythm. Van Lith. Oh, skating right around Perez. What a take from the freshman Van Lith. Beat her up as she would try to go in and move through contact. You see her using that big strength she learned from Dad Corey. <laughs> well, Jeff Walls told us Haley Van Lith. I just want you to know, Rebecca, that's not our dynamic either way. Okay? <laughs> the bank shot is good for Kayla Jones, and NC State's lead is eight largest of the game. You got one, you got one, you got one, you got one. Perez circles and reverses it in. And they have come out really defending with a lot of life against Louisville so far tonight. An opportunity in transition, four on three, nice decision. Conference finishes on the pass from Balagoon. The largest deficit they've faced all season. Down nine here with under 2.40 to go in the third. Evans splashes the jumper, and a timeout taken. So you're saying Steve didn't get to hold any of the four kids during Minnesota Twins game? No, or Marquette games, nope. <laughs> Nice entry feed, and Kunane gets the easy leg. Nine-point NC State lead under two to go in the third. Smith has had a tough shooting day. Hits that one. After she had started the day 0 of 3 from downtown and 1 of 8 from the floor. Yeah, really important to get something from that position for Jeff Walls. Oh, nice delivery there from Brown Turner with the little step back. Trio is such a dangerous perimeter attack. Four to shoot, Evans looking for space, her three is good! Dana Evans hits a bomb, and it's a three-point game! Five-point lead for NC State, Dana Evans trying to make sure Louisville stays. A senior experienced moment. The jumper is good! Louisville has won the last six games they've played against NC State. A five-point NC State lead. Brown Turner spinning and hitting. Jones goes cross court. Brown Turner connects on a three. Down to Kunane, first game back after dealing with COVID. Kunane the shovel. Boyd squeezes it in. Extending back to the third. Last couple of possessions on the offensive end. NC State has done a great job sharing the ball. Louisville a little more one-on-one. -on -one. Jones, patient. Another nice find. Perez into Kunane. The hook is good. Flips it back out. Clock is the friend of the Wolfpack. Perez, a three. You bet. Passes out of it. Boy, the spin, the rejection from Dixon. Here comes Evans. Evans speeds to the bucket for the finish in the foul. Not that time. Rebound triggers a break. Evans stops, pops, and connects. Dana Evans won't let Louisville die. Rebound Jones. NC State the flick ahead. Kunane, two on one with Brown Turner, and you wonder if that layup may just about seal it for NC State. A 15 point lead is Evans. Wants everyone to stay tuned against the number one ranked team. Good trap here by Robinson and Smith, and another steal courtesy of Robinson. Smith hits the three, and it is a single digit game. Run that has coincided with her entering. Grenade on the block, puts it in, and the foul. Robinson nearly comes up with another steal, but Jones able to whip it ahead. Grenade waits and finishes, and NC State has taken down number one again. 
see the final.